In the previous video about Grip6 wool socks, I tested out these prototype Coyote socks that were one size too small at a few national parks while hiking. Additionally, I wore them at work once or twice. Now, during that time, I decided to hike through dense, thorny foliage while wearing shorts, which wasn't very bright, and I got a lot of potential damage here to the top of the socks. I thought for sure after I pulled all the thorns and whatnot out and washed them a few times, I'd have holes, but you can see they held up really well. Unfortunately, though, I ended up wearing holes where my toes went, and I'm not sure if it's because these are prototype socks. At the time, th this style wasn't released to the public, or if it was because they were one size too small. So I thought in fairness, now that these are available for sale at the Grip6 website, I thought in fairness I would go ahead and order the same socks, production socks, in the correct size and try them out over the next couple weeks while deer hunting and while at work, and then at the end of the video let you know if I got the same results or better. Additionally, I decided to go ahead and order some Grip6 wool socks for everybody in the family for Christmas. So I thought I would also turn this into an unboxing video to give you an idea about what to expect if you order from Grip6. So let's get to the unboxing. If you want access to the complete product line available from Grip6, you're going to have to go to their website. However, they do sell some of their products on Amazon. So my first order of socks came from Amazon. The next two I ordered directly off the Grip6 website. The last order I placed, they actually had a, a sale going where they offered a promo code, so I got a discount on this one. All of these took less than a week to ship to me, and all of them had free shipping because of either the or because of the dollar amount I spent either on Amazon or on the Grip6 website. So we'll start off with the Amazon order. Go ahead and open it up and see exactly what we got. It just came in a simple Amazon plastic bag here. All right, so here in a clear plastic bag, I've got the Grip6 wool socks, and they're in extra large, which is my size. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's uh, sealed here. These should be the same style socks that they gave me at the factory. These I haven't tried out yet. These are factory seconds. There's some sort of flaw with the socks, uh, visual flaw with it, not a, uh, not a uh, durability or comfort flaw. These are production socks. These aren't, uh, these aren't seconds. And you can see the, the pattern is pretty much the same. It's just uh, kind of like a, a, a two-tone and whatnot, and they've got the company logo on there. So I'll be trying those out. This next one I'll be opening up here. This is in a bubble pack. It's a plastic bubble pack. I, I don't want to damage it. Let's see if I can cut it here with a buck knife. This one came directly from Grip6. And because uh, it was over a certain dollar amount, I got free shipping. And we've got some ankle socks. We got a Grip6 decal. These are for the misses for Christmas, for my director for Christmas. So, move those over to the side. And here are the Coyote brown wool socks that I'll be evaluating in the video in the right size this time. I also decided, since I was placing the order, to get this titanium belt buckle with a black belt here. You see it's kind of a kind of a, a shiny black here and the pattern here is just a, a nice uh, kind of nylon weave. The titanium belts 
were uh, weren't released to the public at the time I visited the plant, so I actually got to see uh, belts with patterns like this. This is a uh, like a um, topographical map contour uh, laser etched onto the belt buckle. So I got to see these and. I was fairly impressed with them. So at the time I placed the order, I actually wanted to get the one that uh, was shaped like uh, the molecular, blah, can't even say it right, molecular structure of titanium that had a prism to it, but that was out of stock. It had already sold out. I, I liked this one when I saw it at the factory, so I decided to go ahead and get this just in the, in, in the regular finish, not in the, the prism finish. So I'll be wearing this belt at a certain point in the future. Now let's get to the last package here, the last of the Christmas presents. Just like the other, it's in a uh, plastic bubble pack. Try to be careful here cutting it open. Comes with another Grip6 decal. You can see here for the kids, one kid prefers ankle socks and one kid prefers crew socks. So I got them in a uh, two-tone gray and a gray and blue. So we're going to have a Grip 6 Christmas here at the uh, Squib Load House. And uh, I'll be trying out these socks. So later in the video, I'll let you know exactly what my experience was with them and see if it's improved over testing out the pre-production socks. The conditions under which I tested my production pair of Grip 6 Highline Coyote Wool Boot Socks were as follows. Before wearing them for the first time, I washed them in cold water with dead downwind scent blocking laundry detergent. I then wore them for three days in 20 degree temperatures at deer camp. I wore either my Mickey Mouse boots or my Thoroughgood Warfighter Steel Toe Desert boots while deer hunting. When I came back from deer camp, I wore them twice. Both times I washed them with Members Mark laundry detergent, that's just generic laundry detergent from Sam's Club, and I used Lysol laundry sanitizer and cold water. After wearing them the second time at work, both times on a 10 hour shift at the factory, once again in my steel toed boots, the end result was this. I wore another hole in the toe. Now before anybody says that, uh, once again, uh, like I said in a previous video, I'm nasty or something like that, no, my nails are trimmed. I've actually uh, been trimming them more often, trimming them, uh, you know, keeping them as trim as possible just to try to prevent this sort of thing from happening if that's the issue. I will tell you this. I am I am pretty rough with my, my socks and, and, and my boots. I wear my steel-toed boots a lot. I'm a very physical person both at work and at home and I do wear holes in the toes and heels of my socks. However, I don't wear holes in them this fast and I'm really not sure what to make of this. But the testing of these socks are not over. They are they are not over uh, just yet. You see, Grip6 has a lifetime warranty on their socks. So in the next video, I'll be trying out their lifetime warranty, seeing how well they handle a warranty claim, and we're going to test these out uh, one more time. We're going to test out a third pair. I'll be wearing them at work with steel-toed boots. I'll be doing physical things at work to include shoveling snow and we're going to see how long uh, of a lifespan I get out of that third pair. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.